it's midnight because it's not a game. Um, it's a match day. Um, Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here it's colin uh this week i have i'm doing a hair tutorial um my hair is looking <laughs> a little bit interesting um i haven't taken it down today but um i'm gonna be showing you what i do um usually like once a month um to take care of my curls make sure they're as healthy as possible and make sure they're staying nice and curly um, so I'm going to be taking you through the steps of deep conditioning my hair, um, the products I use in my hair currently, um, and how I get it to look like a cute little bob. Well, come with me and see my hair adventures. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Um, I'm back. I mean, you just saw me, but... Um... <laughs> Now I'm in a different location. Um, so I'm going to be using two products um, to wash and condition my hair. Um, this is Taraji P. Henson's um, hair care company. She's in Target. Um, so this is her Honey Fresh um, Clarifying Shampoo with Moisture. It cleanses, detoxes, and hydrates and is for all hair types. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I just started using this recently um, because my sister suggested it and i love it so far um i've been seeing great results um my curls have definitely gotten like shinier and also like bouncier like they're getting shorter but like a lot tighter which is really awesome um they're also cruelty free paraben free mineral oil free all that good stuff she's clean she's healthy she's great um just like this next company they're called main club they sell it in cvs um taraji's brand is sold in target maybe other places i'm not sure but i've seen this in target and this in cvs um and it's a deep conditioner that i'll be using after i wash my hair so it's all clean and everything and then i'll leave this in for i think it says like five minutes um and then i'll rinse it so i'll come back to you once i've put in the hair mask um but it the five it's a five one so it adds shine conditions tames frizz repairs and strengthens your hair um and that's really awesome um it's sulfate paraben gluten uh alcohol and artificial color free so that's awesome um so yeah i'm gonna go wash my hair I'll be back once this is in, um, and yeah, see you soon. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. So I just washed my hair. Um, it's very clean now. It's not super wet anymore, just cause I put it in a towel when I was putting on like my clothes. Um, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water into it. All right, now that I've done that, it's time to use our Babe Alert mask. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna, you know, open it. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna start at the ends because the ends are most important to get covered since they're the long, they're the farthest away from your scalp and therefore the least healthy. Um, just because of the damage, you know, we do to it on a daily basis. I like actually, during quarantine, I haven't really been putting heat on my hair, but still just with like, I feel like I probably wet my hair more than you're supposed to and stuff. <laughs> so I just want to keep it healthy. <laughs> Okay, so I also have a patch in the middle of my hair that doesn't curl like the rest of my hair. Um, it's just a lot more frizzy. Um, basically, it just has a different curl pattern. Um, so I like to put just a little bit, focus a little bit of extra product on it so that it curls as much as it possibly can. So just a little last bit of product. I'm gonna work it in there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
all right so i've covered like all my edges to make sure those um are smooth too and get the repair they need because whenever i do straighten my hair i know that my edges are probably like most affected by heat just because one baby hairs and two um i focus so much time like trying to get my edges straight i mean not so much time but <laughs> you know what i mean um so i'm just gonna put it up in a scrunchie now and i'm gonna wait five minutes and then i'm gonna wash it out see you then <laughs> oh wait i need to grab my stuff all right i'm back let's go <laughs> now i'm gonna take down my hair um towels from target <laughs> Now my hair looks like this. <laughs> this is about to be fun. Um, so now I have to like wash it out. I think. So now I have to wash it out. <laughs> I just read the contents on the package. Um, so I'll see you again in like another five minutes. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Um, I got a lot of it out. A lot of it I didn't. Um, but now I'm gonna flip it back. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Um, oh my god, they look so cute already. Yay! Okay. Next steps. One second. Let me just, I need to dry myself off. <laughs> this is a lot. I'm not gonna lie, there's definitely still a lot of product in my hair. But the next step is products. So I use two products currently. I am using Cantu. I have their Shea Butter Leave-In Cream Conditioner Repair Cream. Um, I love this-ish. Um, it's incredible. It does wonders. And then this is actually new. Well, I don't think this is new, but it's new to me. Um, I've, everybody uses curling mousse in their hair and I never have. This is the Wave Whip Curling Mousse. It curls defines waves and without the crunch, which is awesome. And that's actually true. And again, this one doesn't have sulfates, silicones, paraben oils, or mineral oil. I think this is the same. I could be absolutely wrong. So I usually take just like, I really don't know how much you're supposed to take of this, but I take like this much. And I just rake it through the hair like <laughs> I usually use like one hand to like get it through my hair again I focus on this little patch in the middle make sure it gets all the moisture and stuff that it needs um and then I just like use off the other hand so I'm not just like aimlessly putting it everywhere <laughs> Next, we're gonna section the hair um, to, this is what I, this is the shape I want my hair to be. This is pretty much like the part I want. Um, I like to do just like kind of like a jagged part just so it's not that visible. Um, but now I'm gonna comb out my hair in layers so that the curls don't get stuck together. So I'm gonna section it off. I like to wet my brush. Um, so that it goes through the curls more easily because it kind of wets them too and helps them to coil more. Wow, I just sounded so fancy. Um, I also do this thing, so I don't like a bunch of extra product in my hair because I just feel like it weighs it down. Um, so when I'm like going through the curl, I will like put my, like I'll comb and then I'll put my fingers through it and then I'll get rid of the excess product. Um, and yeah, don't know if you're supposed to do that. And then I just scrunch. 
then I continue that in layers. So yeah. <laughs> Also, if anybody's curious, the brush I'm using is a Denman brush. It's, I've always used it. It's the best brush I know for curly hair. Um, I personally love it. It definitely helps getting your curls into the barber curl. <laughs> and yeah. All right, so this part is super important. Once you get towards the part, it's important to section it by the part so you don't just like randomly comb things so i just kind of let it fall naturally like when it's together like it this just goes over here um and this goes back and we're good to go i'm gonna keep the process going and that's the end of this side and the rest of this hair will go this way <laughs> I'll admit the hardest part um, about doing my curly hair um, is the styling, um, especially like the front pieces because I recently during quarantine decided to cut bangs. Um, really not much thought went into it. It really just, it wasn't like, are you gonna do this? It was just kind of, I woke up, went to the bathroom and was like, I think I want bangs today, cool. So, okay, once I get to this part, kind of just massage in some extra. And this can go on this side. You can also, once you comb it out, some people do this with their entire head, it's actually insane, but you can literally just wrap it around your finger and then like pull it off carefully. And then you have like a perfectly done curl. And you grab it and there it goes. And when it dries, it'll be super cute. Um, I think I'm gonna do a couple over here too, going this way. <laughs> Sometimes life just doesn't work for you and I think it's gonna work out in the end. I think it just, you know, I think my hair is being a little shy today. Uh, so we're just gonna continue with, what? Ma'am. Okay, I really don't know. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna, ow. And then I just flip over my head. Can you see me? Oh, cool. Go over the ends and scrunch them. Oh, you can't see me doing this, can you? And then flip it back. Try to find where your part went. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you make a new one. There we go. Here we go. Here she is, she's fantastic. Oh, why are you like long? All right. And then make sure you just like, I just li lightly do this, don't like pull apart curls, but I just lightly make sure that all my curls are separated. Just so it like really gives the volume while it dries. Um, this one last part. I'm gonna just go over again because the curls are just not sticking as usual. It's pretty standard for this part of my hair. But I just wanna do one last brush through to see if I can get 
There's a little bit of curls back there. So we're all done. Um, this is what she currently looks like. I'm gonna dry her a little bit just with the towel. You're not supposed to really use a towel. Use a um, t-shirt if you have one, just like an old t-shirt. Um, it makes her hair a lot less frizzy, but I just take my towel and I like very lightly just like tap it. <laughs> This is what it comes out to while it's still wet. Wouldn't expect too much volume yet, but I pretty much, I try to do this early in the morning, like before I um, start my day. So before like breakfast or anything, um, or even just like right after breakfast so that it kind of dries throughout the morning when I'm not doing anything important, then it'll be dry by the time I have to do anything super important. So yeah, I will check back in with you in about an hour when it's all air dried. If you don't have time to wait, you can also partially dry it with a blow dryer. Don't do it all the way because then it can end up super frizzy. I'll check in with you in an hour. Hello, I'm back. Um, it's, it has not been an hour. It's been, it's midnight. <laughs> And I did my hair at like two o'clock, three o'clock maybe. No, I think it was like three. So it's been nine hours, but I wanted to show the result. Um, here is what my hair looks like. It's all fluffed out and it's dry and yeah. So this is my, oh, it's called a wash and go. That's what it is. This is my wash and go. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed. Um, like, follow, subscribe. And let me know what videos you want to see next. It's not a game. It's a rat's